Dr. Fan Ren and Dr. Steve Pearton. Together, they've been working on the biosensor for, I would say, 14 years now. And I come to find out that chemical engineering had developed this biosensor. And so they said, we can apply it to COVID. I said, great, how are you gonna apply it to COVID? We'll have a nasal swab, and then we'll have somebody sonicate it, and we'll find out if they have COVID. So I said, well, who has a sonicator at home? and who's willingly gonna swab their nose. And so we looked into the application of saliva and we were actually one of the first ones who found that COVID existed in saliva. And so now moving on, here we are four years later and we're still applying this sensor to other diseases, particularly breast cancer and oral cancer. The breast cancer has a very personal spin for me and Dr. Ren. So my mother died of breast cancer. And um, she, the reason was she didn't want to get a mammogram. She said, oh, it hurt, it's expensive, and it's very inconvenient. And his wife too passed away from breast cancer. And so I said, you know what? Surely there's an easier way. So we researched whether there are biomarkers and there are indeed biomarkers in the saliva that can detect breast cancer. The issue is that the current technology we have is not accurate enough or is not sensitive enough to detect these minute amounts. So our sensor is, and that's what this whole invention is about. Our goal is to basically improve diagnostic screening. For women who wouldn't normally be tested for breast cancer, hey, spit out in this cup. And if there is any alarm bells or any levels that are high, go get a mammogram. So we're not wanting to eliminate the gold standard, which is the imaging and the biopsy. What we are trying to, to do is to spread a wider net for diagnosis. For our 2024 Innovation Award, my group select the collaboration project from Dr. Fen Ren, Josephine Escobar, Upshaw, and Yu Tei Liao's group in Taiwan. They're ingenious creation combined biochemistry with circuit boards to create a multi-target sensor system for detection targets simultaneously, which also increased the sensitivity 100 to 1,000 folds. This will have a lot of potential, not only in healthcare, but also environmental contamination detection, as well as other fields. So congratulations to these groups, and I'm looking forward to this technology being adopted and applied um, in the industry settings to better our lives. Thank you.